we watched it in a restaurant, the, the entire company. We had a screening of it at Fox, in, um, like at 6 or 7 o'clock, you know, early. And then all of the people who were invited to the screening went to uh, a Moroccan restaurant in Westwood where you, we took over the whole restaurant. And we had been there before. Alan used to love that restaurant. We, all of it was good. Um, Katubia, it's called. And um, it's one of those Moroccan places where you, um, you know, you sit on couches and pillows. And, uh, and so that's after we'd seen it um, in, in a kind of projected film fo uh, format, uh, we went and, and uh, had a party and it sat and ate and drank. And, and, and uh, legend has it, which is true because I was there, that um, because it's a Moroccan restaurant and they give you these um, small, like washcloths, little mini towels to, to, to rinse your hands. It's a tradition there. And those washcloths with Harry Morgan as one of the chief conspirators were flying all around that room. People, people got into a, a towel fight, a, a, a damp washcloth war, throwing it around. Um, there, there was a lot of that kind of fooling around and, and fun and games uh, around the final showing and also throughout the years of the show. There's some very amusing incidents about things that went on. What, uh, was it, so it wasn't a sad uh, uh, moment to, to watch that final episode, per se? Um, well, I, I think that um, a lot of the sadness had been um, expressed, uh, as I described to you, at the final shooting of the final half hour, as time goes by. We'd, we'd, we'd you know, been through all of that. This episode um, on the air, which, which uh, I remember it was at the end of February, February 28th, um, 1983. So that's two and a half, 20 and a half years ago. Um, but there had been um, uh, an interval of time, therefore. We finished shooting, I don't know, maybe it was right around um, January. There, was, there were a few weeks that that uh, had gone by and the anticipation of, of this big event and, and all of us getting together for this party and seeing it together and everything uh, kind of uh, just uh, uh, delayed the sadness, sort of, of uh, pushed it away a little bit because of the excitement of the moment because there had been a great deal of sadness expressed at the final filming and there was also a press conference after the final episode, after the half hour episode had been aired. We, went all, we had all that media. We then went into the studio commissary and had a, a three, four hour press conference in which each of the actors and myself and Larry and Gene, we all got up and talked and answered questions and everything. And I think at, a, that, at that time a lot of the sadness was expressed. Uh, this seemed to be more of a, of a kind of um, celebratory event. Uh, as to be then displaced for years thereafter about the, with the sadness, sure. Uh, people are always lamenting the fact that it's over. But when they do, and certainly I can speak for myself and many as well, the, 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 the regrets and, and what you miss is the family. The family that you became, that all of these people from diverse worlds and with... with uh, a divergence of uh, uh, tasks and and the professional uh, vocations in terms of what they do, what their involvement with, was in a production, as you know, it, it's very varied. Um, that we had become a family, and you could you you hear this a lot in terms of shows that have been on the air a long time, and when they end, uh, that that's the part that everybody misses the most. This idea of of going to work every day in this dark cave somewhere, uh, but with a group of friends around you who are very supportive and very um, professional and, and it's, it's in a very kind of constructive atmosphere. I mentioned the word cocoon. It's like that. It's like you're in your own big, safe cocoon. That's why it, it was safe for me to direct and it was safe for other actors to say, yeah, I'll take a shot at directing. 
because everybody knew that they'd be helped by others and, and be really literally prevented from, from making too big a mistake, you know, that there was all kinds of support.